Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Ark Knights music reaction. Today we have another song from the Phantom and Crimson Solitaire section of music event, I think. I don't fully know. I never quite picked that up. Either way, this one is Puppet's Ecstasy, which is a sus name, and nobody can tell me otherwise. But let's find out what exactly Stephen Grove has to say about this sort of sound, and if he changes anything, shall we? Let's go. That was not any way I expected that to start. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, that's a weird time signature. <laughs> I can't. I'm so bad with time signatures. Oh. All right, so definitely not moving too far away from the uh, the sound that I'm familiar with for this event. Just as hectic, but in a very different way from the stuff I've heard from Adam on this event. I Oh, okay. Okay, the the in and outs, the constant movement. Harpsichord in the background. <laughs> I Woo! I every single time I think I'm starting to hear something, he changes it up. This song is fairly fatiguing. But I assume that's kind of the point. Yeah, I... God! Every single time I think I have a finger on what the song's sound is gonna be like. Throws in random curveballs like that. <laughs> the uh the voices the the choir stuff in here is it's reminding me of fifth element the the breakdown of the song from that movie just in tone Now we're done. Okay, jeez. All right, so that was definitely different from how Adam handles this event, but it was also very similar. Like, obviously, you gotta kind of match the tone that is set overall for whatever event you're working on. If you're a different musician than the one who's worked on it as well, you have to kind of meet somewhere in the middle. But I think I may have said it best when I called it fatiguing, but it definitely did, like, drag me down. I was trying so hard to figure out what the song was doing and every single time I did and I thought I had it and I'm like oh this is where it's going. It didn't follow that line of logic at all and it was tiring in that way to follow it along. But by the time I got to the end of the song I kind of lost what attention I had spent on the song because it was going everywhere so fast and that's kind of a bummer. I know it can't just be me though because I know that the songs for this event are kind of designed to be fatiguing like that and very tiring to listen to. They move around a lot, they make you think constantly, there's a lot of hectic energy that matches with this event. This one just kind of hit that into overdrive and while I could definitely see that being useful in-game in the moment, I don't have that sort of connection with this game. I don't play it and I don't understand what the full context of that like battle would be. So I'm kind of left just with this 
sense of being exhausted by this track. Every single thing that this song did while being clever also just kind of drove me away as it was happening. And that is not to fault the song or Steven for doing this song at all. Because like I said, that's the point. I can tell that the point is supposed to be grading you down and like really grinding you and making you feel exhausted. It's supposed to be draining. But listening to it alone is definitely a different monster from just playing the game and having the other input going on in the mind, you're really not focusing on the music. You're focusing on the battle or whatever is happening on screen at the time. As a result, when I'm just listening to it isolated on its own, is more tiring than I feel it is supposed to be for me. Overall, while very well done in stitching all these different thoughts together into this one song, being who I am personally, this song ground me down a little too far. And unfortunately, I think that kind of hurt my opinion of it in the long run. So even though it's been a very long time since I've had a generally negative view of a song, this one might be the first one in a while. It's still not bad on a technical level and i don't want that to be the takeaway from this but it's definitely not a song that i would ever listen to outside of the context of playing the game as a result of my brain just constantly being exhausted by things like this these changes really do hit a different spot in my adhd riddled mess of a mind and it it doesn't help it makes the voices go woo <laughs> But nonetheless, Steven is still a brilliant composer, and like I said, on a technical level, this song still does hit many of its marks, and it does its job. But obviously, in my own personal context, just having heard it just now on its own, it is exhausting, and I won't be adding it to any of my playlists to listen to things because I wouldn't be able to use this to work or chill to for obvious reasons. It would just make me stress out more. But of course, despite that opinion, love me or hate me for it, this hasn't soured my opinion of Arknights or the music from it at all. It hasn't soured my opinion of Steven in any way. It is its own thing, and I'm still interested in hearing plenty more. This is not going to slow me down in any way. It was just a bit much for me this time around. But if you like this video either way and you want to see more of my opinions on songs from other properties or this one leave a comment down below with what you want me to get to next and i'll do my best to get to it and other than that if you want to support me and follow me on all that you know how to do that and i will see you all in the next video goodbye